Hello and welcome to this episode of Rick's Garage. So in this episode, we are looking at a fantastic product to help prevent rust on your vehicle. More details to come, see you in a moment. So yes, welcome to this episode of Rick's Garage. If this is your first time here, then a very warm welcome to you. I hope you enjoy the episode. Please do consider giving me a like and subscribing to the channel. I would very, very much appreciate it. But yeah, a warm welcome to you guys. So yes, in this episode, I am featuring a fantastic product to help prevent rust on your vehicle, whether it is a, a car, a motorcycle, a bicycle, boat, train, plane, whatever you've got, this stuff is going to go a long way to help preventing rust. So a few episodes ago, you guys may remember that I did an underbody wash on my Alfa Romeo. Uh, many years over the years, previous cars, after I've washed the underside, I always go around with a load of WD-40 and a rag, giving it all a good wipe down. After the uh, said episode, a few of you messaged me and said, Rick, you really do need to look at a built Humber Atom Mac. So here it is. You guys recommended it. I'm here to review it. Let's see how we get on. So the built Humber Atom Mac, why did I choose to buy this stuff? Why is this the product that I've been looking for for so long? Well, if your car looks anything like mine underneath, whether it's freshly rebuilt and all completely powder coated, or you might have a brand new car or a rare or very expensive classic where it's all original underneath, we don't really want to be spraying things like wax oil and under seal over everything. There are many drawbacks to it, one of which it doesn't look fantastic, does it? But at the same time, we want to preserve things, we want to protect it from the elements, we want to protect it during storage especially. So that is where this stuff comes in. You see, this is a semi-permanent product. With this, you can keep reapplying it again and again and again. This is why this is the product that I have been looking for for so long. So how exactly does this stuff work? Well. I can't give you a scientific explanation, guys. A, because this isn't a science program, and B, I'm certainly not a scientist. But what I can do for you guys is read exactly what it says on the back of the bottle very quickly. Okay, so it says, Atom Mac is a migratory and contact corrosion inhibitor that is diluted in water before use. It provides protection against corrosion in both open spaces and hollow voids. The powerful migratory phase corrosion inhibitors are liberated from the product and are carried in vapor phase to form an invisible atomic shield against corrosion of ferrous metal. It protects vehicle undersides, water collecting voids, braking surfaces, suspension components, bicycles, garden equipment and machinery, wherever corrosion may occur. So there you go guys, that explains it much better than I ever could. So the only thing left to do now guys, which is the bit you've been waiting for, and that is to get some of this stuff mixed up and applied onto the car. So let's do that. Okay guys, so the directions on this stuff, it says to dilute from 2-5% to in water and spray on surfaces to be protected. Atomize onto brake discs and surfaces after washing the vehicle and allowed to dry. Use 1-2% in water on motorcycles and bicycles, 5% on cars with disc brakes. It also says uh, this stuff can be used in pressure washers and can be applied to the entire underside where it will neutralize road salt and emit power corrosion inhibitors. It should be applied at the end of each wash. Even wet cars can be put into storage along the migratory inhibitors to protect the entire vehicle. Aim for 2% atom max strength from the pressure washer nozzle. So there you go guys, I've got my mix ready to go, to be honest, I didn't quite measure out 5%, but give or take, I just put about, you know, that much in the bottom of the bottle and topped it up with water. Now, I actually did go one step further because instead of using tap water, I actually used deionized water. Why? Well, because I could. I've always got deionized water in my garage, I use it for all sorts of things, including washing the underside of the car. So, yeah, what we're going to do now, very quick, easy, simple video, I'm going to get some of this applied on the underside. I'm not going to do the entire car because that's just going to take too long, I'm going to do that on my own, in my own time. But what we are going to do is just apply it to the rear end, all over the rear brakes and the rear subframe. Let's see how it goes on and I'll cut and see what it looks like when it's dry. Let's get on with it. 
Okay, guys, so in the words of Marvin Gaye, let's get it on. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help it, couldn't resist. So yeah, it is what it is. There's nothing to this, guys. You're just spraying solution out of a bottle. It does kind of look frothy for want of a better description, but to be honest, I've got quite a strong mixture in here. You can see it. It is quite strong as well, so you may want to wear some kind of respirator or mask, guys, because honestly, you breathe this stuff in, then you do know about it. And don't forget guys, it doesn't stop at suspension components because this stuff is actually designed for brakes, your actual brakes, you can spray it on your calipers and your discs and you can also spray your actual engine with it. If you've got an engine such as the Busso V6 where everything is exposed and prone to corrosion, it's perfect. Guys, yes, you can apply this to your motorcycles or bicycles. In fact, it's probably even better suited to your motorcycles because of all the little tiny intricate uh, components, all the things that are prone to rusting and corroding. It's just ideal for something like this. You can apply it whilst the bike is dry or wet. Either way, it works. And don't forget, you can apply it once again on your calipers and your discs. Yeah, so far, really easy. Just spray and leave. So there you go guys, that is applied, nice and easy. It can't get any easier than that. Straight into a spray bottle, spray it absolutely everywhere, wherever you like, fantastic. Now, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to insert a few clips of exactly what it looked like when it was dry. As you can see, it looks fine. It doesn't look as if there's anything on there, but believe you me, there is plenty of it so yeah hopefully that will go a long way to offering this car some protection both when it's out and about driving around but when it's also being stored in the garage particularly over winter now what i did is a little bit of an experiment as i got a piece of a mild steel out of the garage as you can see it's a very scabby looking piece of plate i give it a good clean off and what i did is i sprayed this plate with some of the product and i left it outside for four days and this is what it looked like okay so the morning after day one no change looking good day two quite cold a lot of moisture out this morning as you can see i thought these were speckles of rust but no they are just little midges little flies stuck to it so no change we're still looking as good well i would say as good as new but we're looking good Day three, it was raining last night, a lot of moisture this morning. Is there any change? No, nope, it's still looking clean to me. And lastly, day four, it was, you know, it's a rainy morning this morning, it was raining all night last night. Uh, I think we're still looking good. Is that a little speckle of rust? I'm not sure. A few more midges, a few more flies, but overall, that's pretty impressive to me, guys. It's looking okay. So there you go guys, I don't know about you, but that's pretty impressive stuff. Now that looked pretty clean to me. Obviously you couldn't normally leave a piece of mild steel outside just like that. In fact, within hours, a piece of mild steel that looks like that would be, you know, it would start flashing straight away. But yeah, four days outside in not great weather conditions. It was throwing it down with rain a couple of days ago. Yeah, that's pretty impressive to be fair. Now, how long this would actually last is anybody's guess, but what I will do for you guys is I'm going to put it back outside and I keep you updated in say, I don't know, a week's time. I'll post it on my community page um, and I'll show you how this thing is holding up. So yeah, let's do that. So yeah, this is a highly recommended product to me. It's the exact product or kind of product I've been looking for for my car. Um, yeah, it's gonna be great for the car, great for the bike. You can't go wrong with this stuff. So yeah, built Hamber Atom Mac. Highly recommended from me. Guys, thank you very, very much for watching. I hope you found this video interesting and I shall see you all next time.
Bye-bye.